Damn right I got knives here with another knife review. Let's talk about this. Tommy gun, banned from Belgium. And the knife is from Belgium. The company is from Belgium. And uh, it's a really cool band that I had the opportunity to see and get to know and become friends with. He's got a great voice. All of them are great musicians, really kind, nice people. Nice vinyl pressing of this. Yeah. Really cool, mellow vibes with this light electronic thing going on. Tommy Gun, Wooden Sun. Check them out. <laughs> I got you a gift. Thank you. Came in the mail today, and I want to get a video of you opening this. Alrighty. Well, this might give it away a little bit. <laughs> See, I like their logo. That's why when I was looking around. Domus Knives. So this company is from Belgium. Okay. So I had it shipped from Belgium. I'm gonna do a little bit more research and find out about them and it'll be part of this video. But okay. I first wanted to just get you getting this or checking this out because we've been having some conversations about yes. kitchen knives. Alrighty. Ooh. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is, yeah, nice, nice dense film. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, it's like a finger sharp. chopper. Yeah, it might be sharp, so. Packaged quite nicely. This is a Serbian chef knife. I thought it was from Germany. Well, it's not from Germany, it's from Belgium. Oh, Belgium, I mean. Yeah. yeah. The style is a Serbian chef knife. I see. So a lot of companies do this style of a blade, but this company is from Belgium. Online, you see a lot of different Serbian chef's knives, especially once you search one, your Instagram and your YouTube is just populated with them. And so I've been getting a lot of different ones and I'm just like, I don't know which one is really good. And I, this is intentional. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, hand forged. I thought, why don't we give it a try on something? When, right now? Yeah. You wanna grab something to cut? Yeah. Right here, grab a cutting yeah. board and then Oh, quickly wash it off. All right, we've washed it off. It's a bit intimidating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a scary knife though. I think they even maybe say something about it like coming from hell. Maybe that was a different one, but it looks like something that would be part of your Halloween costume. Yeah. Chop, 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 chop. I grabbed a mango. Go ahead and give it a go. Yeah, here you go. Right. Here we go. Wow. I mean, it had some trouble piercing the skin. I don't know what that was about. What I like about it too is the the height of it is so big. For something this large, it was just a nice clean. What I'm imagining is you're really far away from the cutting edge too. So it actually maybe right. in some ways it's kind of safer where your fingers aren't so close to. True. But you do have to hold things, so. Those yeah. fingers are close, but. Yeah, I think it depends on what you're actually, you know, using it for. <laughs> yeah, maybe as you get used to it, it is a big knife. Yeah. Dang. I don't know where it's, <laughs> it's gonna go. <laughs> it's really cool. Let's see this. Since I mm -hmm. saw you having a hard time no. piercing that skin, I just wanna see like out the box how sharp it is. Oh yeah, it's sharp. It's a, let me see the weight of it. Oh yeah, it's quite quite heavy. Quite heavy. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, that's just so nice. You want to give it yeah, a try? Yeah, the weight helps you get through things, right? Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, we're just doing mango, but the skin is, you know, Pretty, really like tough. Dark. The leather sheath was a bit more. I prefer the canvas. I think it's nice. It's the only simple. thing with the canvas is that. It can cut through it. 
if you're oh, not, right. you know, it's not the most durable thing. So, I mean, I think it's fine. You just don't want to like right. bang it for storing it. I mean, look at that. It looks cool. Yeah. For and in, did they have different colors of the canvas? No, it was just one or a full leather one. It has a little belt loop, but <laughs> I don't think <laughs> you're going to ever be cruising around like in our backyard barbecuing with this on your belt. I would love to see that, but... <laughs> I mean, that's almost ridiculous, <laughs> maybe for Halloween, but no, to Good store your go. knife in the drawer like that and to keep it nice and sharp, keep you from when you grab it and you're, you know, it's not going to cut you, you open it up and you pull it out and it's nice and safe. I really like the hand forged look. Mm -hmm. It just, yeah. It looks really good. I mean, I like really clean, sparkly <laughs> knives, but this is the intention. It was hand forged. It looks like an old design to me. I've seen other Serbian chef knives that are, don't have the hand forged. They're all really nice. They have the like, what do you call that? The divot. Maybe someday we'll get one of those, but this one I just wanted to get kind of a classic thing. And yeah. I really like their logo because it's very much like damn right I got knives and the name was Damas, like damn right I got knives. Well, great gift, I'm surprised. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> it's not your birthday or anything. I just got it no, for you. No, it's not. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Here, we'll put it in here and you can store it wherever you want. It won't stay with my knives, it'll stay with your knives. Sounds good. Thank you. We get to eat. Mmm. Gluten free buns. I'm tired tonight, so veggie burgers it is. Yep. We use the knife in a few different ways, so. We need a drink and we thought we'd do the drink review during our dinner too, because we neither one of us have had this particular type of coconut water before. It was purchased at People's Food. Co-op in OB. And it's called Amy and Brian. Be better. Coconut water. Original. Great taste. No preservatives. Let's try it real quick. It's interesting to see all the different colors that coconut water can be. Yeah, the pink one and, all right, cheers. Let's try this. Mm. Uh -huh. Tastes like coconut water. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked up a little about Amy and Brian's. Some coconut water can have added sugar, which is just like, yeah, not good. I don't not like when there's sugar in my coconut water. This says not all coconut waters are created equal. Amy and Brian non-GMO coconut water packed by a 15 year history of family, farm, and freshness. is 100% natural. Coconut water has more potassium than a banana. I like this. It says ingredients is coconut water. I do like their little logo of Amy and Brian. She's waving and he has his thumbs up. But it looks like kind of any old coconut water packaging. And it's good. So that's pretty much a drink review to keep it short. Oh my gosh, you almost um, ate your whole burger already. Yep. Let's quickly talk about the knife. So we've used it now on mango. Red cabbage. You've used it on pineapple. I think I used it on pineapple. Yeah, you did. You, I think you sent it to me and I think I'm gonna put it in the video. <laughs> Tonight. How do you feel about it? It's when I when <laughs> you can be honest. I know. Once you kind of have your hand on the handle, not as scary because your hand is way up here. I guess you just have to be very careful when you're chopping of your of the opposite hand that's holding the food. I was nervous to use it for the tiny little tomatoes, but it worked quite well for those. And it worked good for the bread. It huh? worked really well for the bread. Which um, is not serrated, and, but... 
but nice. like not so well for the avocado. This avocado skin was a little. Yeah, I wonder if it needs to be sharpened a little better, which I'll do eventually because we seem to be having a little trouble getting through skin. You know what I kind of think this will be good for is like meat. I like it for the larger produce, like the cabbage probably cauliflower great watermelon for, i mean even like larger sweet potatoes but you know what it was good for too was like when you were doing yep. cilantro and some finer things it was actually kind of good mm -hmm. for that too mm -hmm. it's a cool knife and a cool knife to add to your collection i don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with it it's just a particular style of knife yeah. that you got to get used to using yeah it's not your everyday knife it's a great looking knife how's the sheath been working good the only thing that's odd to me it's the the snap is almost on the opposite side that might be for a reason well i think actually no because if it's on your belt oh right then you want the snap Got it. to be like that and you know i thought it was a little bit more wimpy than it is but a little but actually it's like a nice thick canvas yeah mm -hmm. it's actually not bad i don't think it's gonna like easily cut through here cool yeah thank you for the night yeah i hope you like it all right, so you saw that and how we talked about the knife. Um, ultimately, we like the knife a lot. It's really a cool, unique knife for cooking, especially for chopping something, but it's good. It's a good cutting knife. So I emailed with the guy a little bit. I'll have a link in the description. They're trying to do more Damascus knives that started off with some hand-forged knives. They partnered with a small workshop located in Yang Jang, the city of knives. So they're not manufacturing these in Belgium. They're manufactured in China and they put their logo on it and offer these knives. They started in 2019. Their long-term objective is to offer a wide range of Damascus steel knives created by independent craftsmen, major brands, and their own custom models. And eventually they want to open their own workshop in Belgium. Cool, I hope they get there. It's all browned and crazy. Let's take a look at some of the specs here. So the blade, six and seven eighths. Handle length is four and seven eighths. It's about 11 and a half inches overall length. This is 1075 high carbon steel. The hardness is 59 HRC. Blade thickness is three millimeters. The width is 10 centimeters. Uh, the overall weight is 350 grams. It's a double bevel with a black Pekka wood handle. Cuts vegetables and meat effortlessly. It's forged and shaped by hand and then it's hammered. So just for curiosity, I tried to look up the history of Serbian chef knives. Cause you know, everybody's making these things called Serbian chef knives. But can you buy one just from Serbia? And what is the history with this? And why do they call it a Serbian chef knife? I searched Serbian chef knife Wikipedia. I searched Serbian chef knife history. Didn't come up with much here. Just a bunch of products for sale and images and very little about the history of the Serbian chef knife. So if anybody knows that out there, I'm curious to know more about it. I'm gonna ask my friends from Serbia that live there now and I'm gonna send them this video and hopefully they are gonna respond and tell me if they know anything about it either. But I've been to Serbia and I've been to a Serbian barbecue before they took me there. And I feel like the guy was maybe using one of these. And I wish I would have paid more attention at the time, but I can see a Serbian barbecue happening and drinking rakia. I'm probably saying it wrong, but they drink like crazy, this raki, rakia. Oh man. Great people, great times, Serbia and Belgium too. Uh, great friends in Belgium. Hello to all of them. Everybody from Belgium to Serbia and anybody else out there watching. All right. Thank you guys so much. That, that about wraps it up with this cool knife. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon. Adios amigos. Damn right. I got knives signing out.